everybody and welcome back to a Friday Reads video. Um, as you guys know I didn't film one last week which I talked about in the weeks before so I do have quite a bit to talk about here but maybe not as much as you would think just because I've had a really busy couple of weeks but I've finished two books so let me start out with those. The first one is The Girl of Ink and Stars. Now I thought that I would be able to read this one super quickly because it was so tiny but it did take me quite a long time because I just did not want to pick this one up. I have done a full review of it which was the video previous to this because it was the Waterstones book of the month for April but I just didn't enjoy this one but I explained in that video so I don't want to go into too much depth but this one really dragged me behind. Um, I feel like I almost got really slumpy uh, but uh, thankfully a book whew, whisked me out of that so I'll, I'll get to that one later but yeah almost got in a real slump on this one. Um, and actually I had to pause reading this one because I needed to read the next one in time for something so yeah I just really wasn't enjoying it even when I only have 30 pages left I felt like I had to like really draw through it and I just it really kind of slowed me down but that's that one The Girl Thing Stars I've read it now so that's that and the other book that I read um, I read this one really quickly it's, again it's short I read it in two days um, and that's A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This book was fantastic. I gave this five stars. Oh, I forgot to mention I gave this one two stars. Um, yes, I gave this five stars. I thought that the way that it was told was very interesting. It made me think a lot. It was very sad, but I felt like mostly it was very thoughtful. Each part, I was like really thinking on things. And it wasn't just one message. I suppose it was like a few dotted throughout, which is really interesting. Um, and the movie for this came out on blu-ray so i wanted to read this before the movie so i did pause that one to read this i was really glad i did because i just felt like oh when i was reading this one i just felt so much better than having read the other one the writing style for the patrick ness um uh, the writing style in this book was wonderful i definitely want to read more by patrick ness um, as well but as well this is original idea by sioban Sioban Dowd? I really can't pronounce um, the name but I did want to mention that because I think that not enough people mention that but it's just a really hard name to pronounce unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, Monster Calls, that's the only two books that I read. One really great book and one book that I just really didn't enjoy. Now onto the books that I am currently reading. So first of all, an interesting one that you might see crop up quite a lot in these Friday reads. I've got Supernatural Nevermore. This is the first Supernatural novel. Um, it's a little mass part, mass market paperback i really like these actually i know some people don't i think they're cute uh me and josh are reading this together so we're only about 50 pages in i'm really enjoying it so far it definitely has the supernatural vibes but i can't wait to get further into this and i will share more thoughts after i've properly read the book um and i think what we'll do if, if we enjoy this one we will then just continue on because there is a whole bunch so even if we only read one a month or one every two months I don't even know we're just going to go through it slowly and just kind of enjoy it that way so I will be plodding my way through this one but I think these will crop up quite a lot in these Friday reads because we're not reading them fast uh, but yeah these are published by Titan Books which is awesome and I'm really enjoying it so far but like I say only 50 pages in but great stuff so far and I hope that I'll love it and pick up the rest um what you next okay so i'm still reading geekerella um a reason why i haven't progressed or finished this one too much further is because there's another book that i'm currently reading that i just super got into and just had to go with it because like i say when i was reading girl i think the stars i thought i was gonna get into a slump and i picked up the other book and i just completely got whisked away of it so i didn't want to even though i'm really enjoying this i just kind of wanted to go with my instincts at the time so really enjoying this one will be finishing it hopefully soon i don't know why i'm such a slow poke with it that seems to be my theme at the moment and then the other day i picked up emmy and oliver by robin benway and the reason i picked this one up is because i put it on my 10 tbr for summer top 10 summer books and i thought hmm, i don't know too much about this one let me just have a little look and i just kind of had a look at the beginning and i got completely sucked in and then in one evening I read a, nearly half the book where am i at 150 pages so the other evening i kind of wasn't really reading much and i hadn't picked up geekerella after reading the other two and i just was like mm, because of like i said the other book i picked up this and was just really into it so i'm sure i'll finish this um 
this week I'm really really enjoying this one definitely recommend it basically it's about this boy who was kidnapped by his father no one knows where he is his whole town is looking for him his mum doesn't know where he is you know he's a missing child everyone's trying to be looking for him for years ten years later this is the first chapter by the way ten years later they find him and it's basically that there the story then takes off from there really really interesting really really enjoying it definitely recommend this one can't wait to finish this one up i'm really really loving it now as for what i'm going to read next well obviously i have obviously quite a bit to go with these because from my reading habits of the past month it's not been great so you know but also i didn't want to do a next book because my birthday is this weekend and i know that i'm going to be getting a book for my birthday that i think i really want to read so i'll probably move on to that um but yes i'm really excited about that and also i don't know if i'll have to film a friday reads next week which is really annoying because i keep doing this on and off on and off but i do have a good reason so last week i wasn't able to film a friday reads because i was having some work done on my tooth um i was having it taken out but in a bit of a more complicated way um so obviously on the Friday I definitely couldn't have filmed the video on the Friday I wasn't sure but yeah I couldn't speak properly at all for hours and hours and hours into the night anyway um because my face was swollen and blah blah, blah. anyway the procedure that I had done actually didn't work it I've still got um uh, most of my well half of the tooth now in so on Thursday next week I'm having an operation which just takes about an hour and a half to have the rest of the tooth out so i don't know if by friday i'll be able to film a video because i just really can't predict what's going to happen so there might not be a friday reads next week but i promise from then on they'll be better it's just because this it always seems to land right near a friday i don't know uh, but yeah i will see you guys next time thanks so much for watching this video thumbs up if you enjoy friday reads let me know if you've read any of these books i think the ones i definitely recommend would be a monster calls and emmy and oliver I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.